Okay, so um, the first haul we have is from like a month ago. It was right after Christmas. Right? Yes. Yeah, it was right after Christmas. Although mine I got. Yeah, hers is gonna be for Christmas. Christmas. So. So yeah, let's get started. So, so yeah. well, I guess if you wanna do your Christmas, what you got for Christmas. Okay. So I got sleigh ride for Christmas. And the initial cold throw. Mm mm. It's not mm-mm, but mm -mm. it's not very strong. <laughs> he has a very dis... what is it? I'm just... Dis or not di intense dislike. Dis it's just I'm not very Hatred hot on it. it. Yeah, it's just... It doesn't have a very strong cold throw. Well, like, so, for the same price, I'd rather get, like, fresh balsam or, like, the other piney ones, you know? Yeah, but, you know, I mean, it was a gift. And, and I appreciate it. Yeah. And I actually like it. Like, the cold throw is not very strong. And I tried to light it in my living room, and there was absolutely no scent at no. all. Like, you couldn't even smell it. But then, the other day, I decided to put it in my bedroom because it's a smaller space. And you can actually smell, like, there's actually throw, good throw. And, well, I don't know if it's a good throw, but it's okay throw. <laughs> decent. It's yeah, decent. Yeah, it's enough to know that there is a smell. So, it's basically um, frosted juniper. What's the notes? The notes yeah. are frosted uh, juniper, green noble fir, and rosemary. And I think this is still sold at the at Bath & Body Works Girl, right now. ours has like a ton of them Like, they have $8. a lot of sleigh rides. And like, so. even the ones that my mom's at, they have just like a ton of sleigh ride. Like, they can't sell it for $8. So. I mean, among the dark chocolate mint... Marshmallow peppermint, deck the halls, deck the halls, and winter night sleigh ride. Like it probably be second to marshmallow peppermint because marshmallow peppermint is yeah. really good. But yeah, so that's what I got. I like it. Okay, so mine was the day after, as I was saying earlier, and I was like, I just need to get my like top two cents, which was Mary Mistletoe, and like. Oh, it's like probably my jam for this, or like my scent for this yeah. holiday season. It was so amazing. Like last year was Winter Garland, but yeah, I had that last year as Wallflower and it was good, but Mary Mistletoe was just new this year. And as you can see, I burned it. Um, it burns beautifully top to bottom, but the throw, it's it's decent. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not, not the, not the strongest, even though I have the Wallflower form and that's not even very strong. It slightly smells better burnt well the candle form smells burnt because the throw is so like low that the burnt wick yeah, smell sort overpowers. of overpowers the smell Spruce. so it was definitely like probably my number one smell on this like season one of my favorites yeah too. i just love it and like the green little label is the cutest thing ever and yeah and then i bought apple crumble <laughs> I remember when it first came out in the bake shop form or like in the, with a bake shop event and I was telling her to buy but she wouldn't and she was saying it smelled like shampoo or whatever. It did smell like shampoo. Yeah, but like it I fell in love with it. I love it. And so I, I remember buying the wallflower before the candle and it definitely had a good throw and it just smelled so good and fresh. And so then I bought the apple crumble but as, oh, the, the performance is just awful. The pits, as little <laughs> Ballager would say, the pits. Like, it's so uneven, it lags. It won't even, like, can you see how, like, uneven and wavy that is? <laughs> it's like a wave. Or, like, it looks like that rock, or, like, that sediment rock yeah, or whatever, yeah, where like it has, like, like weird... Erosion. Yeah, and it's just really weird. Depositing and... And, like, like the that. wicks are, like, they have that white, like, crap forming on top <laughs> of it, and, like, I just don't know. But... Even with its low, really low flames and just awful performance, it just smells, even the throw is like so good that it makes up for it. So yeah. even if it does perform awful, it just smells so good. It says baked Granny Smith and Macintosh apples topped with vanilla crumble, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And you can't really get that anymore. No, they don't it's have it like anywhere. Out. Even though it's awful performance, obviously you don't know until we burn it. So <laughs> yeah. just blind customers coming in. <laughs> but... Even if they had them now, I think I'd still buy them because I'm just so devoted to the smell. I would too. Even with the bad performance, I don't care. It just smells so good. I just usually take a lighter and just burn the edges the, yeah. so that they even out eventually. But I mean, we definitely shouldn't really, have to do that. But I, mean, I haven't yeah. really experienced any bad throws. So on my end. those are I mean, like bad performance. My first two official Slack and Co candles that I bought because I was all wallflowers before this. So. Yeah. 
but it smells delicious. And it was and, the start of an obsession. Oh God, it, I don't know what I started or what I got myself into, but you know, whatever. The next thing I got is the mini Mary Mistletoe 1.6 ounce. And just can't get enough of it. Yeah, I just got this because I didn't have any money to buy the big one. So I just bought a small one. And it come, came with a free hurricane. And I bought it when it was two fifty. so. Still a good deal. I haven't lit it yet. I'm not sure how the throw is for these small ones. I've heard mixed stuff. Some people say oh, they're really strong. Um, Some people say they're not. I'll do a thing later, but I definitely have the small ones. I haven't done the very... The mere mistletoe throw is still really low, even on the small ones. But, like, I have winter that I got for a dollar. And I'll probably cover this later. But those... Although, I mean, Grain I, I have three of them going at once, the three small ones going at once. But the throw is still no, good on them. No, it's common. They said how they needed three of them to yeah, get a the decent th throw. I don't think with one, it's really low. But yeah. with three of them, it was definitely, it was really good. Because like, I thought really a marshmallow strong. peppermint one, and it wasn't very strong. No, though. but... And the big one is, like... At least the mini ones, like, they perform well, or because... There's only so much area to melt, so like you get to even pull a wax no matter what. And they're just so cute. I mean, yeah. who could resist this right here? And now they're doing the glass containers instead of the plastics, so it will no longer be a fire Although, hazard. yeah. Okay, so the next thing I bought were, as you know, I love wallflowers, so I bought, oh gosh, these are like $3, I want to say. The first day of the annual sale. And I got Spiced Apple Toddy. <laughs> And I know she had the candle of it okay. earlier, and it just smelled amazing. It was Still like have some of it. it's like a baked apple kind of smell. I haven't tried it in wallflower form yet because I have I'm just swimming in wallflowers <laughs> that I can't. I he don't has have enough a to last him his whole life. I like just can't. I don't have a chance to do it yet, but it's just. The candle was really good, so I'll let you guys know if I ever do, like, plug it in. <laughs> It'll be another six just, months from yeah. now. And then I bought a Mary Mistletoe. <laughs> And, like, it smells pretty good. It smells as you would imagine. It's yeah. not quite as strong as the other wallflowers. And I don't know. Yeah, you can still find these. They're no, still they, $3. Yeah, they're, still $3. they're still $3. They're, they're not in the dollars. cute, like, decorative form. But they still had them. And they still had a ton at $3. So, I mean, if you like it in the candle form, I would recommend it. It doesn't have the strongest throw ever. Like, we bought Holly Wreath for, like, $1.60. Yeah, and that's, that's like pretty strong. 5,000 times stronger yeah. than your mistletoe. So, yeah. So then I got this. I got this um, before Christmas, I think it was, which was a stupid mistake was on it? my part. Oh, yeah, because it wasn't even Because it went yeah. on sale. But I was going to buy the small $5 one, but my dad's like, go ahead and just buy the big one. And we were at the store, so I was like, you know what, fine. So it's Vanilla Teeny. <laughs> and it was part of their um, New Year's. She, she used a ton of it. I have so many lotions, but I do use this one. Um, it was part of their New Year's, I guess, like mini line that has the Jingle like Bellini, Jingling. Strawberry Sparkler, Vanilla Teeny. Which they just smell like all the other scents. Jingle package. Bellini smells like Peach, Peach Bellini. Bellini. Like, just... Strawberry, I'm not really sure because I've really. Been yeah. Smart. But usually I'm not a very strong vanilla kind of person. But, but this one's just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Smells like your stock vanilla tin here. It has fresh vanilla, creamy coconut, and lemon zest. I don't know. I just really liked it. And I like the packaging of it. Like the it's how just like sparkly so the sticker tea. is. And I smelled vanilla bean Noel, and I'm not really into it. Like it's really different than this. I don't know why. This is, I don't know, it's like sweeter, but like, I don't know. I just, it's I cute. guess, like the bottle. Yeah, it's, it's really blue. cute. But no, I really do like the smell too. So then the final um, thing that we bought, at least on these like dual hauls, is I bought Sam Portables. Every time I look at the packaging, they look like condoms, <laughs> but I mean, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> but I bought Evergreen <laughs> and Fresh Balsam. They were also $3. They were like right next to the Mirror Mr. Wallflowers that I just talked about. They were like in the bin and I was like, well, I've never tried Sam Portables. So it was like for $3, it's such a low investment anyways. Let me yeah. just try it. And then so I bought this matching like Sam Portable holder. And originally I was just going to buy a back or silver one because I was like, it's a little bit more masculine and the car might be better. 
but I was like, I'm buying candles and scent portables anyways. Who, who am I trying to fool? I mean, and that's obviously, just so it's much just cuter. it's so much cuter. Yeah. So right now I have fresh balls on in it. I just tried it like a few days ago, and I was like, I read how you can put it just like in anywhere, like closets or like dressers so i put it in one just one dresser drawer and it doesn't work very well at all i wouldn't ever buy it yeah again. i heard it has really faint it's not very strong at all like it's in there but like when i should open the drawer it should be just like a huge whiff of like when you put soap in there. yeah this soap is like crazy like everything smells like it but this temp portable well, that's meant to do that it's like i don't even smell it i'm glad you tested out before i bought one yeah and like fresh balls for some reason smells more like dirt and like outside in this form than the other ones for some reason. So like it's almost counterintuitive because then my clothes I just laundered smells like dirt or like outside, which is exactly what I don't want. So I mean, I guess that was a mistake in my part for being fresh balsam, but it just in this form, it's much more like dirt. Like it legit smells like dirt. And yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it. And not a huge so, fan of dirt. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I won't buy it again. I haven't tried out the Evergreen yet and then they have some really cute spring ones out right now, but yeah. it makes me reconsider yeah, if they're worth think, the investment. No, if I they were really cheap, like $3, yeah, but... Even at $3, I don't think I'd buy it. Yeah, it's just like a dollar. I mean, you may just need to try a different scent, and Fresh Balsam isn't good in this Yeah, it's not very it's so strong. But, yeah. So, that was our little joint hauls that we had. This was for Christmas Day and the 26th. Yeah. So, that's where we're at now, and... We hope to continue to do more. We keep buying. We have a lot more to show yeah, and to review. The, so hope you enjoyed our first video. Uh -huh. We're sort of new to this whole Bath and Body news. Works haul review people thing business going on. So we were just really inspired by Little Balladeer. Yeah, we watch her videos all oh the time. Oh my gosh, I just look she forward to it. She actually kicked in our obsession for this even more than it was. Yeah, definitely. Because when we see her buying Her shopping it, habits definitely validate yeah. my shopping habits. And exactly. we don't even buy anywhere near as no. much as she does. I was telling myself how I wouldn't buy any of the spring scents and I already have four. Yeah. So and she sort of pushed you. the marshmallow peppermint business that we're going to yeah. go into later on. So. And the mango beach wood. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I definitely we're trust her. We're her. Yeah. So. Okay, well. Right. Bye. We'll talk to you guys later.